All right. So yeah, this is the LG Optimus 3D. Uh, so this is the basic home screen. As you can see, it's got a massive 4.3 inch stereoscopic LCD. Um, turn around the side, you've actually got your micro USB ports, your HDMI port here. You've got two 5 megapixel cameras basically on the back with a, a LED. Um, your volume rocker and you've got a dedicated 3D button here as well. On the top you have your 3.5mm uh, jack and your power button or your power save button. So that's the power button. I'm saying let me just enter oops, enter my lock screen pattern. Um, so the handset is quite a powerful piece of kit. So we have um, a Texas Instrument dual core uh, uh, system on chip. Um, supports a unique architecture which is uh, what we call tri-dual. So you have the dual core technology, you have a dual memory, a dual channel. So essentially it makes the handset obviously a lot quicker to use, rendering obviously the 3D quality uh, very seamlessly. So let's get into the 3D. So press the 3D button basically to get into the 3D menu. So as you'll notice basically this is a unique 3D menu. You've got your guide to actually show you how to create, view and share in 3D. We have a unique partnership currently with YouTube 3D. So any content you can actually create, you can upload directly. Any content that's currently situated in YouTube 3D channel, you can download and stream across. Um, any content you created will be in this space here and what you'll notice by default we've actually kind of like put this uh, warning uh, uh, prompt actually on screen so if your eyes do get tired from viewing kind of like 3d content um, it warns you necessarily basically to, 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 to take a break um, so this is one particular menu view of the gallery and I can use the toggle here basically to switch the view and as you can see, very seamlessly, it allows me to rotate through my um, through my gallery, whether it be images, whether it be uh, video. So, let me just show you a video clip. It could be anyone, really. All right, so that's a 3D clip being shown. But what we've actually got on the actual uh, menu is we have on the left-hand side, sorry, we actually have a depth control. So at the moment it's actually set to max. Um, if obviously uh, while you're watching the content it's a bit too much for you, you can actually toggle that down and adjust the actual 3D effect. Yeah, once you're ready you can hit OK. Yeah, and that's your 3D effect obviously to best suit your eyes. So I can come out of that. Yeah, um, you've got the 3D camera so I can just uh, tap on that and it will automatically take me into the actual uh, camera mode in 3D. Should I need to I can actually toggle to 2D or hit the 3D button at the top which will actually take me to 2D or 3D depending on how I want it. Any additional settings basically you just tap on the screen and it will bring you, uh, it will deliver obviously kind of like the additional menu options there. So let's come out of that. One of the cool things about this particular handset is, um, so clearly you, you're going to create a lot of 3D content which is going to max out um, a lot of your storage space. So for that we've actually delivered um, an 8 gig internal storage capable of taking a 32 gig micro SD card. Uh, sorry, let me go into the main menu. Um, oops. So this is the main menu where you can actually adjust, um, sorry not adjust, you can actually collapse uh, specific categories and all I do is basically pinch to actually collapse the specific categories. If I want to expand the category all I need to do is just tap on it and it will expand that category for me. I can actually edit those categories should I need to in terms of layout, I can manage the application so if I want to kind of like move an application to say downloads I can do that and it will automatically put it into downloads for me or whichever category I wish to choose, uh, wish to pick um, but as I was saying um, good thing about this handset we actually have 8 gig inboard onboard storage so you can you know save all your 3d movies as well as obviously you can actually expand it to a micro uh, using a micro SD card to 32 gig um, but another cool thing about this handset which is something I really want to get to if I go to applications and I go into gallery, I'm going to pick a 2D clip 
and um, any 2D clip whether I've side loaded it or somebody's Bluetoothed it across as long as it's actually sitting local on the handset I can then um, uh, turn that clip into 3D so I'm going to try and find a 2D clip and how you know it's actually in 2D obviously most of the actual 3D clips are all badged in 3D so I'm just going to try and find a 3D clip here quickly a 2D clip sorry quickly all right let's go for this one so this is uh, Madagascar in 2D this is a 1080 clip well all I need to do is hit the 3D button and that's in real time converted that into 3D for me I tap the screen um, not only will it allow me to convert it into 3D I can also adjust the depth as well yeah again in the same way that obviously if I had a 3D clip just the actual kind of like 3D effect basically to deliver me the best experience I can do that for images uh, which is actually fantastic so if I come out of that and I go into images uh, this is a 2D image actually taken with a uh, digital camera that I've side loaded and again all I need to do is hit the 3D button and it automatically puts it in 3D for me and once again I can actually hit the depth control to actually kind of like edit the 3D effect what's more when we actually do our gingerbread update because currently this handset is actually sitting on on Froyo 2.2 but when we deliver the gingerbread update um, we will also have the option of turning 2D games and application that are actually based on OpenGL format using the 3D button once again you'll be able to render those in 3D so if you can think of games like uh, Home Run 3D or even actually um, uh, Angry Birds necessarily which are actually created in OpenGL language you'll be able to create or actually play in 3D yeah and that's the Optimus 3D are there any games on board in 3D? Uh, oh yeah good question actually I hope you're going to edit that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, we do actually have some games in 3D. That's the one thing I totally forgot to mention. So um, there are three preloaded games. You don't need to actually download the additional data for. So they are um, Asphalt 6. Uh, you've also got Let's Golf 2. And the last one you actually have on there is Nova. That's all fully preloaded. We also have, also developed by Gameloft, a 3D portal. So I'm going to change my network connection so I can actually get onto that. Where we'll actually be able to get um, 14 3D games. Let's go into that. Sorry, let's change the network connection because I was trying to save battery. Wait for my 3G connection to kick in. There it is. Alright, so if I scroll back up, we've got a 3D portal here which will uh, deliver, uh, currently it's actually got about 5 or 6 games, but uh, hopefully by about mid-August we'll actually have about 14 different games. Games like Avatar 3D, games like Spider-Man, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, um, games like Modern Combat 2, things of that nature. So, um, and at the, game, at the moment the games are available to purchase for 99 pence which is a great price, not even for a HD game, but for a full 3D game. So at the moment you've got Avatar, you've got uh, Real Football 2011, you've got Shrek Kart, as I said you've got Assassin's Creed, you've got um, uh, Spider-Man, Total Mayhem 3D, sorry, and you've got this one here called Fishing Kings, which I've actually already downloaded, which I can actually show you. And it's probably one of the best games basically that I've downloaded in, in 3D, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. It's quite a casual game, uh, very similar to um, Let's Golf 2. So yeah, I want to continue because I already had a game already going. So if you're really into your fishing, uh, this is really the, the game for you. And to be honest, the 3D effect on this particular handset, especially on this game, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, 
packs and these are one of the games that you can actually purchase on the 3D portal. But. Is there a cost for the handset as yet? So uh, the cost of the handset is uh, just shy of 500 quid basically if you want to get it offline. And it came um, out? Sorry? came out today? No, it's been out for the last two weeks. Okay. Um, uh, if you want to get it on contract, it's available from actually at the cheapest price, um, uh, thirty-one pounds basically through Tesco's or thirty-five pounds through through uh, Carphone Warehouse. Um, so yeah, um, Optimus 3D will be widely available, uh, coming out on everything everywhere and three as well. It's in phones for you, more importantly, who are really getting behind it as well. Okay, thank you.